The INDIA block is set to hold their rally in Delhi's Ramlila Maidan for the biggest show of opposition unity. The India block announced this rally in the wake of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's arrest and the fresh income tax notices that have been served to several opposition parties including Congress, TMC, CPI and CPIM. The Congress party has announced that the rally has been organized to address several issues. Elaborate security arrangements have been made ahead of the rally. Top INDIA bloc leaders including Rahul Gandhi, Malikarjan Kharge, Sharad Pawar, Udhav Thakre, Akhilesh Yadav, Tejasvi Yadav, Sitaram Yachuri will be attending the grand rally. The big question of course remains, is this optics or genuine solidarity for the Delhi Chief Minister? We've also learnt that his wife Sunita Kejriwal and uh, Kalpana Soren will be attending this rally in New Delhi as well. My colleague Shubh Rana with us on the broadcast. Shubh, take it over if you can show us uh, the preparations at the Ram Rila Maidan and what time is this rally even supposed to start? Yes, of course, there have been a big rally and I would like to show you the visuals here because, you know, uh, this is going to be a very big rally. As you can see, the stage have been completely set up and you can see the posters of Arvind Kejriwal, Farooq Abdullah on this theme of Lok Tantra Bachao, Tana Shahi Hatao. And as you can see, Atishi have been currently right chair arrived and she's giving a public bite, a public yeah, bite. And you can see, uh, there have been a whole lot of, because police have given the permission to gather around 20,000 people and you know, uh, you can see in the posters that there have been big posters which are claiming uh, Arvind Kejriwal's arrest and you can see in these posters because, uh, and if I talk about the public, as you can see, the whole colourful lot of public is seen in a yellow colour pattern because this signifies um, Admi Party public and you know, people are protesting against the Prime Minister and you know, they are saying that Till Arvind Kejriwal is left, is, is, isn't left free from the ED custody. Till then, the protests remain. Until when you can see in the visual people the banner of Mehbi Kejriwal, can be seen. And you know, when we had when we had a word that Dash Shahwal is behind the bars. Until then, uh, Arvind Kejriwal has not been sent free. Their protest will continue. This is a big Maharali. And you know, Rahul Gandhi will arrive there. Malika Arjun Karke, top Congress leadership will come and you know uh, and give a speech because this is very interesting to note that because this is the first time after the foundation of India Alliance that a first big Maharali has been organized. Although Congress have been constantly saying that uh, it will not only address Arvind Kejriwal, Zaras, but also there are seven and this is the same much from where Rahul Gandhi, Malikarjun Khadgay, Udab Chakre, Tejasvi Yadav and you know big uh, leaders who are in opposition will speak from this stage and you know this is what the preparations of this are really going on because this is the same Ram Lila Maidan in which in 2011 when uh, Amali party was born when other Kejriwal protested with Anna Azari and you know this is the same Ram Lila Maidan which we are showing you the visuals in 2024 when people uh, are doing this Maharali for Arvind Kejriwal so you know shut yes back to you Okay, Shubh, stay on with us. Uh, meanwhile, my colleague has also now spoken with the uh, AAP Minister Atishi Singh uh, about the rally today. Listen in. जिंदगी में आमूल चूल परिवर्तन किया है चाहे बिजली हो चाहे पानी हो चाहे उनके बच्चों को अच्छे स्कूल देना हो महिलाओं को फ्री बस यात्रा देना हो बुजुर्गों को तीर्थ यात्रा पर लेके जाना हो आज दिल्ली वालों को पता है कि उनकी जिंदगी में बदलाव अरविंद केजरीवाल लेकर आए हैं और आज वो अपने बेटे अपने भाई अरविंद केजरीवाल के लिए भारी संख्या में अपने घरों से निकल कर आएंगे भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने और उनकी केंद्र सरकार ने तय कर लिया है कि इस देश के लोकतंत्र को ध्वस्त कर देना एक के बाद एक सीबीआई और ईडी का प्रयोग विपक्ष के नेताओं पर होता है 
जो भारतीय जनता पार्टी ज्वाइन कर लेता है जैसे अभी दो दिन पहले हमने देखा कि प्रफुल्ल पटेल का सत्तर हजार करोड़ का एयर इंडिया स्कैम पर सीबीआई ने क्लोजर रिपोर्ट फाइल कर दी क्यों क्योंकि प्रफुल्ल पटेल ने भारतीय जनता पार्टी ज्वाइन कर ली जो भारतीय जनता पार्टी नहीं ज्वाइन करेगा वो सीधा तिहाड़ जेल में जाएगा जैसे मनीष सिसोदिया हो गए संजय सिंह हो गए नोटिस आ गए हैं आम आदमी पार्टी के पार्टी कार्यालय को पांच सात दिन तक लगातार बैरिकेड करके सील करा गया अगर आप विपक्ष को चुनाव ही नहीं लड़ने देंगे तो ये कैसा लोकतंत्र है तो आज हम इस देश के लोकतंत्र को बचाने के लिए इकट्ठा हुए हैं आज हम इस देश के संविधान को बचाने के लिए इकट्ठा हुए All right, political analyst joining me on the broadcast, Himanshu Bhatt and A.K. Mishra with me. Himanshu Bhatt, let me begin the conversation with you. So I'd just like to understand from your perspective, given everything that's happened with uh, Arvind Kejriwal's arrest and now the income tax notices that are being served to the opposition, they've called for a mega rally uh, for a show of unity. What really is it that the opposition perhaps needs to do right today in order to set the tone and uh, set the ball rolling? now for the upcoming polls well they have to set their house in order first let me tell you very frankly because what's happening is for the photo ops and for the show of cameras they are all getting together but the moment they are off camera and the photo is over nobody seems to be united see we know the lecturing of political leaders from any side they will all talk and they will blame the opposition that they will keep continue doing so but the people today are very smart they do understand who is talking what it's something like you know kejriwal rebucking the summons you know he said that he wanted to campaign people are not letting him participate in the democratic process and so that's why the bjp fears the opposition party fears from up and that's why they want to arrest him you know what happened in those three states our candidates did not even get enough votes to save their deposits that was the effect of campaign so public very clearly said that by their verdict so when you see this you need to understand what opposition needs to do the opposition has to set their house in order first make an agenda but just simply shouting that bjp is trying to take everybody into arrest and not letting the democracy function and this and that nothing is going to work <coughs> they have to come up with a concrete agenda say what they are going to do how much will they do it and how they will do it in what time frame they will do unless they come up with that it's not going to work that's what is my feeling and today's uh, rally yes welcome in democracy it should happen such rallies must happen often because we are not even 19 days away from the first phase of polling everyone has a right to democratically say what they want to say but people have the right to judge and when you keep shouting at the opposition when you keep shouting at the ruling party that they are here to curtail the democracy they are here to do this they are here to do that people are not going to will be leave that so they will have to come out with a concrete agenda by just simply often on talking about caste often on talking about you know narendra modi is a dictator things are not going to work that's what i feel Right, absolutely. I'll come back to you in just a moment, sir. A.K. Mishra, same question to you. Given everything that's happened, what do you think that the opposition needs to really get right in terms of at least optics today? What I think, uh, particularly in Ramrila Maidan, <clears throat> this rally is going to be organized or led by Aam Aadmi Party. Since Aam Aadmi Party is programmed as well as they got so many success by means of Ramrila Maidan. so at this time the second or third tier of leadership atc and saurabh bharadwaj they are also thinking that if they are going to organize any some such kind of the rally in uh, ramrila maidan again they will get some same kind of the victory 
my question is that that uh, two three leaders those who are into tihar into 10 by 10 barrack just only one two or three times when kejriwal outside when kejriwal acting chief minister only two or three times he argued he requested he appealed that manish sodia will come out that person that leader will come out after that every aam aadmi party including sunita kejriwal ji as well as arvind kejriwal atishi marleni nobody tried nobody well tried to bring out uh, all those leader uh, outside from tihar now the question is this first they should try to save aam aadmi party rather than claiming that they are going to save ganatantra or loktantra or country or india this is only a mass type of rally where they are hoping that all opposition will come together so that they will get a chance they will get a strength to save kejriwal individually kejriwal as well as the aam aadmi party this is not a rally to save or to reestablish the democracy this is rally only to bring out the kejriwal only kejriwal not manish sisodia and other fellow they are not bothered or they are least bothered they are doing organizing all these things all these rally only for the kejriwal and they are thinking they are trying to kill many birds with one stone that in this way they will prove that aam aadmi party leaders kejriwal they did nothing wrong and they can come out and they can win the elections i was just listening atishi was saying that we did miracle especially for delhi especially in case of electricity i just wanted to ask that delhi government under kejriwal or aam aadmi party how many electricity producing unit you have established have you established any kind of unit no from the tax payer money you are making each and everything free the really revolutionary step will be considered when aam aadmi party or delhi government in up or in any other state they are going to establish one production unit one bisli ghar one extra additional that is the concrete as well as you can say the good type of the statement good type of the approach for the development if you are having surplus electricity then and then you can give it free otherwise i don't think that any government has moral authority to give, give anything free if they are not having sur- surplus resources abundant resources and no one is doing especially around the world if you see no country is doing so this is a marx type of rally and they are think and uh, again i just want to all the opposition this is the last available chance and this will be the biggest either it will be the biggest successful event for 2024 elections in each and every corner or is, or it will be biggest failure and if it is going to get biggest failure as a biggest failure then after that nobody will be talking about opposition about india alliance about aam aadmi party and kejriwal this is the last hope for opposition i wish all the best to each and every leader let's see what is going to happen today Right, absolutely. I'll come back to you in just a moment. Uh, Gyanendra Mishra also with us on the broadcast. Gyanendra Mishra, uh, what do you make now of uh, the opposition's rally today in the national capital? Will they be able to get the message out to the people of India? Thank you for having me on your call. And uh, that seems to be the intention behind uh, this rally, where uh, you know the leaders of various alliance partners are coming together and addressing a massive rally where it seems that they would be talking about the crackdown on the various opposition parties and leaders by ed at the time when election is round the corner and to be an effective democratic process opposition should also be in full strength to participate in the election and the aspect of that is that they should have the access to their economic resources their you know uh, and also the important leaders who are the face of the opposition should be free to participate in the election process so that there is a level playing field and that is the essence of democracy 
today it seems that and whatever the legal reason behind that that's a separate discussion which we could have is that many opposition leaders are behind bars and they have been arrested uh, you know just at the cusp of the election uh, the principal opposition parties accounts are almost freeze denying them the access to whatever economic resources they have and uh, the opposition alliance the india alliance has every right to come together and convey this message to the people of the country and that seems to be the intention behind this rally and uh, what i am hearing is that it is a big big rally where you know thousands and thousands of people have gathered and uh, obviously the opposition alliance is trying to send out a clear message to people that this is the this is the witch hunt which is being done by the bjp through the the various government agencies whether it is ed cbi it etc etc to silence the voice of the opposition and it is not the silence of the voice of opposition but it is the silence of the effective choice that should be given to people uh, while they go for exercising their electoral right so this is what they are trying to convey and it shows the strength of india india alliance that various component as i said the various uh, members of the india alliance and their important leaders are coming together the election is round the corner and as the other panelists were also telling that it is the high time for the opposition alliance to make all the efforts that they could muster you know to go out to the people send across the messages what they want to convey to the people whether what are the current issues of unemployment mahangai social cohesion constitutionalism social unity misuse of the government agencies etc etc whatever they feel are the important and critical issues which will address to uh, the masses they they should try to do that and uh, obviously this is what the intent behind this rally is and uh, yes the kejriwal arrest is not only an burning legal issue but it's a, also an equally important political issue at this moment where not only the country but the entire world are raising voices and concerns and therefore if the aam aadmi party is making it in a big political issue out of it and trying to you know make it the focal point of their today's rally obviously that's quite natural and uh, and this is what they are trying to do because obviously these battles are being perceived at a one hand as in legal battle but the other hand it is also being perceived as in political issues or in a political battle where the important leaders are being arrested at the juncture of the election and they are trying to make it in a political issue out of it that there is no substance in the matter but still they are being arrested the chief ministers himan soren was arrested now darwin kejriwal are arrested and they are the prominent opposition leaders prominent member of the opposition alliance and therefore the way to look at it this is the way they expect it and want to send the message to the people is that it is a by way of silencing the voice of the opposition denying the opposition the opportunity of their critical and important leaders being free to participate in the elections to send across their messages to the masses and therefore it is in a way in a way it is also an attack on the democracy and the democratic process Right, absolutely. On that note, I thank all of our guests for joining us this morning to take us through their views and thoughts on the opposition's rally. Meanwhile, my colleague has also had an exclusive conversation with Punjab Minister Balbir Singh. Listen in. सच के तैयार है और देखिए लीडर्स भी आने शुरू हो गए हमारे साथ इस वक्त बातचीत करने के लिए बलबीर जी मौजूद हैं जो पंजाब सरकार से स्वास्थ्य मंत्री हैं. सर, ये बताइए क्या उद्देश्य है आज का? क्या मैसेज देना चाहिए? मैसेज इज लाउड एंड क्लियर साफ है मैसेज तानाशाही हटाओ और लोकतंत्र बचाओ संविधान बचाओ जी सर लेकिन कांग्रेस की तरफ से कहा जा रहा है कि ये सिर्फ एक व्यक्ति विशेष की रैली नहीं है बल्कि और भी कई ऐसे एजेंडे हैं तो क्या वो एजेंडे हैं और इस पर कैसे रिएक्ट देखो बात साफ है कि बात तानाशाही की हो रही है बात करप्शन की हो रही है जो मुद्दे हैं वो तानाशाही है भ्रष्टाचार है उसका शिकार अरविंद केजरीवाल जो लेटेस्ट है 
वो सिंबल ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस है ही इज पुटिंग अप ए वेरी ब्रेव फाइट तो इसमें कोई uh, हम सब वी आर ऑल ऑन द सेम पेज इंडिया अलायंस इज ऑन द सेम पेज इट्स ए कॉमन प्रॉब्लम सो तानाशाही है वो 140 करोड़ लो, लोग तानाशाही के खिलाफ है और पूरा पूरा देश इसके खिलाफ खड़ा है सारे किसान मजदूर और औरतें जिनके साथ जिनका शोषण हुआ है किसानों के ऊपर गोलियां चली हैं नौजवानों को अग्निवीर बनाया जा रहा है तो इस समुचे जो पूरे इंडिया जो इंडिया लाइन्स और पूरे इंडिया के 140 करोड़ वी द पीपल ऑफ इंडिया ये उनकी स्ट्रगल है वर्ल्ड फॉर आई वुड से आज़ादी के लिए राजनीतिक आज़ादी के लिए उसके साथ साथ आर्थिक और सामाजिक आज़ादी के लिए ये एक बहुत बड़ा एक आज टर्निंग पॉइंट है आज एक इतिहास रचा जाएगा जब तानाशाही नीचे आएगी और लोकतंत्र जो है वो वो फिर से पनपेगा और ट्रूली डेमोक्रेटिक फेडरल और जो लोगों की सरकार बनेगी सर आखिरी सवाल कौन कौन स्पीच देने वाला है क्या राहुल गांधी या आतिशी कौन बोलने वाले सारे बोलेंगे जी इंडिया गठ जोड़ के कांग्रेस से खड़गे जी होंगे राहुल जी होंगे सोनिया जी होंगे हमारी तरफ से सारे लीडर होंगे हमारे जितने भी हैं गोपाल राय जी आतिशी जी सब लोग रहेंगे तेजस्वी जी आ गए हैं अखिलेश जी आएंगे सारे जितने भी हैं जितने भी मुख्यमंत्री हैं इंडिया अलायंस के और जितने उनकी जितने भी उनके घटक हैं सबके जो चीफ या उनके रिप्रेजेंटेटिव आएंगे सब सब बोलेंगे जी बहुत शुक्रिया सर हमसे बातचीत करने के लिए तो आपने देखा किस तरीके से पूरी तैयारियां जो हैं वो पूरी तैयार है और देखिए लोकतंत्र बचाओ तानाशाही हटाओ का ये जो बैनर है इसके तले आज महा रैली होने वाली है और देखिए पहली बार ऐसा होगा कि दिल्ली में जब पूरा विपक्ष एक साथ मिलकर प्रदर्शन करेगा राहुल गांधी मल्लिका अर्जुन खड़गे तेजस्वी यादव तमाम ऐसे स्पीकर हैं जो आज अपनी मंच से बात कहेंगे मैं आपको तस्वीरें दिखाना चाहूंगी आप देख सकते हैं ये वही पूरा स्टेज जो है वो पूरा सेट हो चुका है और देखिए चेयर्स लग चुकी हैं हालांकि आपको पोस्टर्स अगर आप बारीकी से देखेंगे तो अरविंद केजरीवाल की गिरफ्तारी के आपको पोस्टर्स नजर आएंगे क्योंकि आम आदमी पार्टी की तरफ से पहले ही ये कहा गया था कि अरविंद केजरीवाल की ईडी के द्वारा गिरफ्तारी को लेकर आज ये महाप्रदर्शन चलेगा महारैली चलेगी और आप देख सकते हैं सोनिया गांधी के आपको यहाँ पोस्टर्स दिखेंगे मल्लिकार्जुन खड़गे राहुल गांधी और देखिए इससे पहले जो कांग्रेस की बात की जाए तो भारत न्याय यात्रा जो है वो जरूर की गई थी और आप देख सकते हैं तानाशाही हटाओ लोकतंत्र बचाओ के आपको तस्वीरों में तमाम ऐसे जो पोस्टर्स हैं वो नजर आएंगे और देखिए ये जो अगर सीटिंग अरेंजमेंट की बात की जाए तो ये जो पहली लाइन है ये मीडिया के लिए है और जो दूसरी लाइन है वहाँ से आम जो लोग हैं जो यहाँ देखने आ रहे हैं अपने बड़े नेताओं को सुनने आ रहे हैं उनके लिए ये जो सीट्स हैं वो शेयर की गई आप देख सकते हैं आम आदमी पार्टी के जो लोग हैं वो बैनर्स हिला रहे हैं और देखिए किस तरीके से ये जो पूरा जमावड़ा है उसको इकट्ठा करने की कोशिश की गई है हालांकि पुलिस की तरफ से यह कहा गया कि बीस हजार लोगों की परमिशन थी लेकिन आम आदमी पार्टी के खेमे से यह लगातार हवाला दिया जा रहा है कि एक लाख से ज्यादा लोग यहां जमा हो सकते हैं और देखना यह अहम होगा क्योंकि लोकसभा चुनाव नजदीक है और इस रैली का आखिर चुनावों पर क्या असर पड़ता है मैं शुभ कैमरा पर्सन सुधीर के साथ इंडिया न्यूज दिल्ली फॉर मोस्ट वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू द न्यूज एक्स यूट्यूब चैनल हिट द बेल आइकन